Chapter 1 The Mysterious Piano It was a warm summer day, and Emma was feeling bored. She had just moved to a new town with her parents, and she didn't know anyone yet. Her parents had promised her that this move would be a great chance for them to start fresh, but Emma wasn't so sure. As she was walking around the neighborhood, Emma stumbled upon an old, run-down house. The house had been abandoned for years, and the yard was overgrown with weeds. But what caught Emma's attention was the large, dusty piano sitting on the front porch. Emma had always loved music and she couldn't resist the urge to explore the old house and the piano. As she approached the piano, she noticed that there was a piece of paper taped to the top of it. The paper read, Play me one last song, and I will reveal a secret to you. She had never seen anything like this before. She sat down at the piano, feeling a little nervous. She didn't know how to play, but she put her hands on the keys and started to press down. At first, the notes were all jumbled and off-key. But Emma kept playing, experimenting with the keys and the sounds they made. Slowly, she began to find a rhythm and the music started to flow from her fingertips. As she played, Emma felt a strange energy coursing through her body. She felt like the music was carrying her away, lifting her up into the sky. It was as if she was connected to something bigger than herself, something that had been waiting for her to find it. And then... Just as suddenly as it had started, the music stopped. Emma sat there, catching her breath, feeling like she had just woken up from a dream. She looked around, half expecting to see someone watching her. But there was no one there. Just the old, abandoned house, the overgrown yard, and the mysterious piano waiting for someone else to discover its secrets. Chapter 2 The Hidden Room The next day, Emma couldn't stop thinking about the piano on the porch of the old house. She felt drawn to it, as if it was calling out to her. As she walked by the house again, she noticed something she hadn't seen before. A small door hidden behind a tangle of vines. Emma's curiosity got the best of her, and she pushed aside the vines to reveal a narrow stairway leading down into darkness. Without thinking twice, Emma descended the stairs. As she reached the bottom, she found herself in a small, dimly lit room. The walls were lined with shelves, filled with dusty books, old records, and mysterious objects. In the center of the room, there was a large chest with a lock on it. Emma was intrigued, wondering what secrets it might hold. She tried to open it, but it was locked tight. As she was about to give up, Emma noticed a piece of paper lying on top of the chest. It read, Find the key, and the chest will be yours. Emma looked around the room, searching for any clues. Finally, she spotted a small, ornate key on one of the shelves. She picked it up, and it fit perfectly into the lock. As she opened the chest, Emma's eyes widened in amazement. Inside, there was a beautiful old violin, 
a handwritten sheet of music and a note that read, Play this songs, and you will find what you have been seeking. Emma couldn't resist the temptation. She took the violin in her hands and began to play the sheet of music. As she played, the room began to glow with a soft golden light, and she felt like she was floating in a sea of music. And then, just as suddenly as it had begun, the music stopped. Emma looked around, but the room was dark again. She wondered if it had all been a dream, but when she looked down, she saw the sheet of music in her hands and the violin at her feet. Emma knew that she had uncovered something special, something that would change her life forever. She couldn't wait to find out what the rest of the journey had in store for her. Chapter 3 The Music Box After discovering the hidden room and the mysterious violin, Emma felt like she was on the brink of something amazing. She spent hours every day practicing the sheet of music she had found, trying to unlock its secrets. One day, as she was walking through a local antique shop, Emma stumbled upon an old music box. It was beautifully crafted, with intricate designs carved into the wood and a tiny ballerina that spun around when the music played. Without even thinking, Emma opened the music box and began to play the same sheet of music that she had found in the hidden room. As she played, she felt a familiar sensation, as if the music was pulling her into another world. When the music stopped, Emma realized that the ballerina in the music box had disappeared, and in its place was a tiny glowing key. Emma knew that this was no coincidence. She took the key and left the antique shop, feeling like she was being guided by something beyond her understanding. As she walked back to her house, Emma noticed a small, old-fashioned lock on the gate of a nearby park. Without hesitation, she inserted the key into the lock, and it clicked open. Inside the park, Emma found a beautiful garden filled with flowers of every color. In the center of the garden, there was a statue of a woman holding a lyre. Emma approached the statue and noticed that the lyre was missing a string. She realized that this was the final piece of the puzzle. She took out the violin and the sheet of music and began to play. As she played, the missing string on the lyre magically appeared, and the statue came to life, reaching out a hand to Emma. Emma took the hand, and suddenly she was transported to another place entirely. It was a vast, empty room, with only a single grand piano in the center. As Emma approached the piano, she realized that she was no longer alone. Standing in front of the piano was a figure cloaked in shadows, with only the glint of golden eyes visible in the darkness. Emma knew that this was the one who had been guiding her all along. She took a deep breath, and the figure spoke. Play for me, Emma. Play the last song, and all will be revealed. Chapter 4 The Final Performance Emma's heart raced as she sat down at the grand piano in the empty room. She knew that this was the moment she had been preparing for, 
the moment when she would play the last song and finally uncover the truth about her journey. With trembling hands, Emma began to play. The music flowed from her fingers, filling the room with a rich and haunting melody. As she played, she felt a deep sense of connection to the music, as if it was a part of her, and she was a part of it. As the final notes faded away, Emma looked up, expecting to see the cloaked figure standing before her. But to her surprise, the figure had vanished, leaving only a small envelope on the piano. Emma opened the envelope and found a handwritten letter inside. It read, Emma, you have proven yourself worthy of the gift I have to offer. You have followed the clues, discovered the secrets, and unlock the power of the music within you. Now, it is time for you to share that power with the world. Use your gift to bring joy, to heal, and to inspire. Play your music with passion and with purpose, and never forget the journey that brought you here. With gratitude, Your guide tears filled Emma's eyes as she read the letter. She realized that the journey she had been on was not just about discovering a hidden treasure, but about discovering herself, her true purpose, and her deepest passions. As Emma left the empty room and stepped out into the bright sunlight, she knew that her life would never be the same. She had found her voice, her song, and her reason for being. And with each note she played, she would share the magic of the music with the world, just as it had been shared with her. Chapter 5 The First Performance After returning from her incredible journey, Emma felt like a different person. She was no longer the shy and reserved girl who had stumbled upon a hidden room and a mysterious violin. She was now a musician, filled with passion and purpose. Determined to share her gift with the world, Emma began to practice day and night. She played at local coffee shops and open McKnight's always pouring her heart and soul into every note. One day, Emma received an invitation to play at a charity event for children in need. It was a big opportunity, and Emma was both excited and nervous. As she walked onto the stage, she looked out at the crowd and felt a surge of energy. She knew that this was her chance to make a difference to use her music to bring joy and healing to those who needed it most, Emma began to play and the room filled with the sound of her music. It was as if the audience was under a spell, drawn in by the beauty and emotion of her performance. When she finished playing, the room erupted into applause. Emma looked out at the smiling faces and knew that she had found her calling. She had discovered the power of music, and she would use it to make the world a better place. As she walked off stage, Emma felt a familiar sensation, as if the music was guiding her once again. She followed the feeling and found herself standing in front of a music school. Without hesitation, Emma walked inside and spoke to the director. She explained her journey and her passion for music, and the director was moved by her story. He offered Emma a full scholarship to the school, where she could continue to learn and grow as a musician. Emma accepted the offer with 
tears in her eyes, feeling grateful for the opportunities that had come her way. As she walked out of the music school, Emma knew that her journey was far from over. She still had so much to learn, so much to discover, and so much to share with the world. But with each note she played, she knew that she was on the right path and that her music would be her guide. Chapter 6 The Legacy of Music Years passed, and Emma continued to play her music, touching the hearts of people all around the world. She became a renowned musician, performing in sold-out concerts and receiving countless awards. But Emma never forgot the journey that had led her to where she was. She remembered the hidden room, the mysterious violin, and the cloaked figure who had guided her on her path. One day, Emma received a letter from a young girl who had been inspired by her music. The girl had stumbled upon an old violin in her attic and had been practicing ever since. In the letter, the girl wrote, Emma, you are my hero. Your music has shown me that anything is possible, that dreams can come true if you believe in yourself and never give up. I play my violin every day, and I think of you and your journey. I hope that someday I can be as great a musician as you are. Thank you for inspiring me and for showing me the power of music. With love and gratitude, your biggest fan tears filled Emma's eyes as she read the letter. She knew that her legacy would not be in the awards or the accolades, but in the hearts of the people she had touched with her music. Emma sat down at her piano and began to play thinking of the young girl and all the other aspiring musicians out there. She played with passion and with purpose, knowing that her music would continue to inspire and heal for generations to come. As the final notes of the song echoed through the room, Emma felt a sense of peace and fulfillment. She had found her voice, her song, and her reason for being. And she had shared the magic of the music with the world, just as it had been shared with her. The legacy of music would live on through Emma and through all those who had been touched by her journey. And she knew that the cloaked figure, wherever they may be, was smiling down upon her, proud of all that she had accomplished.